Good morning. How is everybody doing? Welcome. Uh, I'm so glad you all invited us here today. I have to figure out my way down here. So that's going to be right around this way. I wasn't quite sure where I was going with this. So you can just go over here so they can see me. So thank you so much for inviting us here today. Um, we're the Martin Methodist College Choir. Um, and I have to have my chamber choir here so you get a few songs from many of Did you have a well, actually, I did. <laughs> that is, is that an oxymoron where you ask a preacher if he wants to speak? No, I just kind of take that as the same thing. Okay. Well, my name is Steve Angus, and I want to say welcome on behalf of the congregation here at Winchester First United Methodist Church. I know we have guests with us. We are delighted that you have come to hear this wonderful choir and see some of your relatives uh, share in the gift of music. Uh, I am an alum of Martin Methodist back in the day when it was a two-year school, so my heart, uh, Martin, has always been precious to me. And of course, our daughter is somewhere hiding up there in the choir. Uh, I do want to just share with you, a little later we will be taking an offering, so so you won't be surprised, you can prepare yourself for that. Uh, I would like to introduce Reverend Laura McMasters. She is the chaplain of uh, Martin Methodist College and has become quite a friend and colleague. Uh, she is going to introduce some of the, some of the players in the program today. <laughs> It is a pleasure to be with you and good to see several of our Martin Methodist families here supporting uh, their students and their children as well. Uh, personally, it's a joy to be back in this sanctuary. A few years ago, I had the privilege of co-presiding for Shelby Rue and Austin Tea Garden's wedding. So uh, Shelby and Austin were definitely some of our alumni very engaged in spiritual life. Sean Hand, of course, is one of yours who we love dearly and who is now graduated and doing great things in the field of psychology. Today we also have uh, Dr. LeBrant, Mark LeBranch, our president, his spouse Mona, I'll, I guess I should say our first lady, Mona, <laughs> uh, Fred Hyde, who works on staff, has served as one of the drivers today, and then Dr. Jennifer Adam, our director of choirs, and Dr. Brendan Jacklin, our associate uh, professor, or assistant professor of piano. And so delighted that we are here with you. You will get to hear from uh, Dr. LeBranch in a few minutes after a few pieces and then we are grateful that you are willing to do a love offering today that offering will go toward the choir's trip to general conference so the choir will be singing at the united methodist general conference on wednesday may 13th in minnesota and you can tune in live <laughs> so just go to umc.org all right enough talking let's get to the singing oh except for steve wants to talk. And just one other housekeeping uh, I've already noticed some checkbooks going out. If you will make your checks out to Winchester First United Methodist Church, we will take care of it from there.
very much. Uh, that was a festival song piece by the composer by the name of John Reddick. Uh, the next piece we're going to do is um, a high day for it, which is um, it's a French community, it's a style of singing that's repetitive with some extra things added on to make it, uh, to increase the interest in um, what is going on. We're using some instruments here. Uh, some of our uh, performers, we have Sandy Freeman is going to be playing flute. Ethan Baker is playing trumpet. And we've got Lauren Clardy there who's going to play violin as well. So this is uh, meant to be almost a meditative type song. Where you can hear this and um, it brings you into a place of introspective.
At this time, um, I'm going to have our table card.
Well, good morning. Thank you for your wonderful hospitality. Uh, our choir is blessed to be among you today, and so are we. Pastor Angus, thank you. A Martin alum. If you're a Martin alum, please raise your hand. Yeah, we have a number of Martin alums, and, and perhaps someone in your family was a Martin alum. We find that pretty often. Uh, or you know someone who's gone to Martin. Martin has been a permanent stakeholder in southern middle Tennessee for 150 years. I mean, there's not many permanent stakeholders like us. When was Winchester founded? Probably a little bit before that. And so we have been uh, promoting uh, the gospel uh, for 150 years. And for John Wesley, uh, the father of Methodism, uh, the gospel meant that we were to develop not just our hearts, just not our spiritual, but they all holistically uh, come together with heart, mind, body, soul, emotions, everything. And so I was telling a group yesterday, we have a scholarship particularly for Methodists, and we had a group of uh, prospective students gathering yesterday, and uh, I told them that Sunday school uh, in Wesley's day uh, was much more comprehensive uh, to include uh, subjects uh, that we commonly see in school. Uh, but Martin Methodist is a uh, result of John Wesley's belief that as we train the heart, we also need to train the mind. And that those two things go together. And that as you develop your faith, you also develop your intellect. Each one of these students here today uh, have particular gifts and graces and passions. And at Martin Methodist, we help them develop those gifts and passions. Many of them will be going into careers other than music, but they'll be members of a choir somewhere. Um, and all of them have been gifted with a particular purpose in life. And so we're very serious about helping them find out what is it that God has called them to do? What errand are they to run? And so that's what it means to be uh, at Martin uh, Methodist College. Uh, like I said, this is our 150th year. Uh, we are proud of our relationship to the United Methodist Church. We are related by faith. We tell our students that we are Christ-centered. And uh, that's an important part of who we are. It is primary, of primary importance. But that we're open to all and that we're a hospitable place for students to begin to, or to continue, they've actually begun many years before this, but to continue their formation uh, in the faith. We are grateful, whether you know it or not, uh, because of your support of this church, uh, part of that support uh, goes to help Martin Methodist be that light in southern middle Tennessee. We are in a rural setting, and our main mission is to develop professionals teachers, preachers, nurses, accountants, uh, criminal justice, pre-med, pre-law, in the rural setting, for the rural setting. Many of our students, nurses and teachers, will go right back into their communities where they're so desperately needed. So let me thank you uh, for your support and for your hospitality today and ask you to continue to pray for Martin Methodist. And if you know someone who's looking for a quality education, uh, uh, close to home, personal attention, please direct them uh, to Martin Methodist. Thank you.
and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was the beginning with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word.
ushers, if you will, come forward as we prepare, prepare to receive the offering this morning. And the offering, remember, is to assist these fine uh, students with their trip to General Conference. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for music. We give you thanks for the sights, the sounds, and for the feelings that it stirs deep within our soul. Lord, we give you thanks for colleges and schools who are Christ-centered. We give you thanks for Martin Methodist, Lord, and we pray your blessings and your favor and that it will fall all over them, Lord, and that they will be able to continue in the process of leading these students closer and closer to you. Lord, we pray for every student, every faculty. We pray for every family member and visitor, Lord, that has come to hear what a wonderful talent this morning. We pray, Lord, and give thanks for their talent. Lord, for we know that it is all given by you. Lord, we pray that you will accept this offering and that you will bless it and multiply it and let it grow and let it assist these fine young ladies and men as they go on their trips and as they continue to provide witness for you. Lord, it's in your name that we pray. Amen.
part of the group. It's kind of like a team, except we don't go out and pay against other teams. By working together, we just uplift everybody. And these people can find a home with choir every single semester they are in London. So this is a special group of people I love them all. Love when we sing together. And this song that I close with, the Lord bless you and keep you, is a song inspired by some who fears here and tell somebody about Martin Methodist College. Make that your mission this week. Go in peace.